plain oatmeal, it's like a boring date and there's no happy ending in sight. And as Oprah says, you get a makeover. We're turning this to this. What's going on? It's Cat Trang, the Kitchen Kitty, and who says you can't have your cake and eat it every morning too? With baked pumpkin oatmeal bars. I know some of you out there think baking is daunting, but today we're gonna make it easy with just a bowl and a damn blender. So let's get started. All the measurements are typed up in the description, but we're gonna start off by throwing all the dry ingredients straight into a blender. In your blender, two cups of oats. Who says pumpkin isn't year round? We're gonna do two tablespoons of pumpkin pie spice. Teaspoon baking powder. Half teaspoon of salt. All the kiddos in the pool, and we're just gonna grind it up. So just put the dry ingredients aside, grab a bowl for your wet ingredients, and we're gonna make our pumpkin oat bars nice and moist. You know, wet is one of those words you can use in and out of the kitchen, but moist, just keep it in the kitchen. In a large bowl, just three tablespoons of unsalted butter that I melt in the microwave. Doing one cup of canned pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie filling. Right there, one cup. I have one banana that was ripe that I mashed up with a fork. One teaspoon of vanilla, one egg. I got a half cup of almond milk, but use what you like. And since so this is like our morning cake we're gonna have every day, you don't wanna have that sugar crash. So I use monk fruit, no calorie, it tastes great, it doesn't have that weird aftertaste, so give it a shot. And one half cup of monk fruit sweetener. So just take the wet ingredients and just whisk it together. So just whisk it all together. And then you're just gonna have that, and that is done. It smells like pumpkin pie up in here. Fun little food fact. The aroma of pumpkin pie stimulates arousal. And who doesn't want that? Got a little eight by eight square pan, just give it a spray down. And after our batter, right down there. Smooth that puppy out. Get a little slammy slam. Who doesn't love some nuts, but I... I'm gonna sprinkle some right on the top. Use whatever you like. I'm using pecans. I'm gonna throw that baby right in the oven at 350. About 25 minutes, but we're gonna check on it. That's it. So you just pop that thing in the oven and you just walk away. And if you're having a good time, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. 25 minutes, that's done, let's take it out. According to science, pumpkin pie spice arouses men, but I'm having all the feels right now. I'm gonna let this cool for a bit. It's still a little warm, but I'm hungry. I cut it in nine pieces into thirds. I always want to show you. Look at that. That is moist. Look at those nuts on top. I'm aroused. Now who said oatmeal is boring? These are great in the morning, great as a snack on the go. It's healthy enough to eat every day, so let's give it a shot. Mmm. Mmm! Who says you can't have your pumpkin pie all year round? That is so good. Definitely give this a shot. Especially if you're a pumpkin fan, it has great pumpkin pie flavor. 
it's moist, it's perfectly sweet. Now that's some little pumpkin food corn. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Kat Tran, the Kitchen Kitty. I appreciate you in the kitchen with me. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I upload every week. Leave your comments below and say what's up. Until next time, ciao.